Chairman, I ask for a point of personal privilege to respond. Proceed. M Mr. Chairman, um, let me be clear. I did not hide Dr. Ford's allegations. I did not leak her story. She asked me to hold it confidential, and I kept it confidential as she asked. She apparently was stalked by the press, felt that uh, what happened, she was forced to come forward, and her greatest fear were realized, was realized. She's been harassed, she's had death threats, and she's had to flee her home. In, a, in addition, the investigation that the Republican majority is heralding is really nothing that I know about other than a partisan practice. Normally, all the witnesses would be interviewed. However, that's not happened. While the majority has reached out to several people, they did not notify me or my staff that they were doing this. And so ar to argue that we would not participate but not tell us what they were up to is somewhat disingenuous. I was given some information by a woman who was very much afraid who asked that it be held confidential, and I held it confidential until she decided that she would come forward. Mr. Chairman, would, would the ranking member um, answer a question, please? If I can. I, I have great respect for Senator Feinstein. We've worked together on many topics, and I believe what you just said. Can you tell us that your staff did not leak it? Oh, I don't believe my staff would leak it. I have not asked that question directly, but do you, I do, do not believe you know they that? would. I mean, how in the world could that get in the hands of the, of the press? The answer is the no. The staff have you, have you asked did your, not. Have you asked your staff or other I staff members of the Judiciary Committee? Uh, they, you, pardon me? You've asked me before. Well, uh, yes. Jennifer well, reminds me I've asked her before about it, well, somebody, and that's true. Well, somebody leaked it if it wasn't you. Well, it was, I'm telling you, it was not, I did not. I mean, I was asked to keep it confidential. And, and I'm criticized for that too. M Mr. Chairman, could I ask the chairman a question? Which is, does the committee have a process if there is an allegation against any nominee oh. to assess that allegation in a confidential forum rather than in the public, since Dr. Ford requested that it be kept confidential, is there a process for the committee yeah. for considering confidential yes. allegations? Uh, and the answer is yes, and I sent Senator Tillis pointed out the document that I put out to show of all the things that we've done along the lines of your question. And Mr. Chairman, what would you have done if on July 30th, the ranking member had, had raised this allegation with you? As the chairman of this committee, how would you we have We would have done that? like we have done with every uh, background or let's say FBI report that comes from the White House with the nominee, and then uh, subsequent to that, because maybe the FBI got done with it three months ago, we go through the FBI or information comes to us, then we have our investigators in a bipartisan way, both Republicans and Democrats, uh, follow up on those, whatever those questions are or those problems that have to be worked out. So bipartisan investigators could have investigated this two months ago and it could have been heard in a confidential setting without Dr. Ford's name or Judge Kavanaugh's name being dragged through the body. Is that correct? And except for one or two conversations that we had with the judge through our investigators, Democrats didn't participate except in those two, but in those two or one or two, they didn't ask any questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. No. Um, I want to... Uh, Mr. Chairman, yes, go may, ahead. I, may, I, may I respond? It's my understanding that her story was leaked before the letter became public. And she testified that she had spoken to her friends about it, and it's most likely that that's how the story leaked, and that she had been asked by press. But it did not leak from us, I assure you of that. Oh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I... I'm a little confused. I thought only um, the member of the House and Senator Feinstein and her lawyers had the letter. So her friends she might have talked to about it couldn't leak the letter mm. if they just had a verbal conversation unless she gave them a copy of the letter. Senator, I don't think the letter was ever leaked. Well, how, how did the uh, press know to contact her about 
her complaint. She apparently, she testified here this morning that she had talked to friends about it. They had the letter. And that press had talked to her. The letter was leaked. 